Let's look at the multiple choice questions for foreign exchange rate. The price of one currency, let's say Indian rupee, in terms of other currency, let's say US dollar, is called foreign exchange rate, flexible rate of exchange, current rate of exchange, none of the above. Now, when you look at US dollar for Indian purposes, this is a foreign currency. The price or the rate at which it is exchanged with the Indian currency is known as foreign exchange rate. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Now, you must be wondering why B is not the correct answer. B says it's a flexible rate of exchange. No, it is not a flexible rate of exchange. It is foreign exchange rate. Third is current exchange rate. Of course, it, this does not mention what is the commodity for which this rate of exchange is there. It can be for exchange of goods. It can be for the exchange of services. Anything it could be there. But what we are specifically talking about is foreign currency. And therefore, for this, the correct answer is foreign exchange rate. The decrease in the value of domestic currency in relation to foreign currency due to fluctuation in foreign exchange rate is so let's say for example we say that INR 70 is equal to USD 1 now if we say that now due to fluctuation INR 75 is equal to US dollar 1 what this means is that the value of 1 rupee Earlier, the value of 1 rupee in terms of dollar was 1 upon 70. But if the rate, conversion rate changes to 75, the value becomes 1 by 75. So effectively, if you will find the answer for this in the denominator, here you will notice that the value has gone down. It has decreased. And this is known as depreciation of the Indian currency compared to US dollar. Devaluation is something which is done by the government. Appreciation is something which is done when the value of the Indian currency increases, which means that instead of $70, if I was to buy $1 in 60 rupees, then that means I need lesser number of rupees to buy dollar. That would have been appreciation. Due to depreciation of the domestic currency, Export rises, import rise, export falls, none of the above. The correct answer is export rises. And you must be wondering why. Let me tell you. Suppose there was something which was earlier available for 750 rupees. And the conversion rate was 75 is to 1. Which means that to buy this come, this good, if I talk about US dollar only, I needed $10 to buy this book. Now because later on the rate changed to 80 which means $1 is now equal to 80 rupees. In that case how many dollars do I need to buy this commodity? I will need 750 divided by 80 which will be around 9.4 approximately $9.4 which means that for a US buyer the price of this commodity has fallen. So he's going to buy more and more of these commodities from India. If he buy more and more commodities, then the exports will rise. Next question. The increase in the value of domestic currency in relation to foreign currency due to fluctuation in foreign exchange rate is called appreciation. The decrease was called depreciation. The increase is called appreciation. Due to appreciation of domestic currency, what is going to happen? Export will rise? No, we saw that this is going to happen when there is a depreciation. Import will rise? Yes, this is the right answer. And why is this the right answer? Because now for lesser number of rupees, you can buy more of foreign commodity and therefore you are going to buy more from various countries and therefore your imports will rise. Which of the following is correct? Depreciation of value in domestic currency is caused because of fluctuations in demand and supply. Definitely, when the demand is more, 
or less depending on the demand and supply of the currency there is a depreciation or appreciation devaluation in value of domestic currency is done intentionally by the government this is also true the process of devaluation cannot be done through the market forces of demand and supply devaluation is done by the government of that country therefore the correct answer is both a and b which of the following statement is not correct in the value of domestic currency devaluation is done by the government this is correct and we are looking for the statement which is not correct therefore this cannot be the right answer revaluation is done by market fluctuations of demand and supply now this is wrong why because revaluation again is done by the government and therefore the correct answer in this case will be b the decrease in the value of foreign exchange rate which is done intentionally by the government is known as i told this to you in the previous question it is known as devaluation revaluation is when there is an increase in the value of foreign exchange rate depreciation and appreciation happen because of the market forces of demand and supply the increase in the value of foreign exchange rate which is done intentionally by the government is known as revaluation like i told earlier these are done by the market forces of demand and supply devaluation is the decrease in the value of foreign currency done by the government revaluation is the increase in the value of foreign exchange rate done by the government now devaluation takes place in the place under which system it takes place under the fixed exchange rate system in the flexible exchange rate system it cannot take place therefore the correct answer is a